What's going on guys? So uh, today's video is gonna be fairly quick. Uh, I actually had a message for someone on Instagram and they were talking about puck style sharpeners and actually they, they asked me what it was. They were going through their, um, maybe a family member's toolbox or who knows what, but they said, hey, I found the sharpener. Uh, why is this round? They just wanted to kind of understand what it was. So I told them that's a, a puck sharpener. And puck style sharpeners are used very uh, often for you know axes and hatchets and things of that nature. And uh, I told him I'd make a video on it. This was uh, a few days back, and now I'm making a video on it. So I'll just give you a very quick, sloppy, dirty demo here. I'm not going to go into great detail about this, um, but you may find these. I don't know if they're still as, as common. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you could find them everywhere, but I'm saying I don't know if people use them on their regular, like, pocket knives as much as, you know, guys using them on their, their hatchets and axes and stuff. That's really the purpose of them is something you can kind of get in your hand and use with these tools, whereas a, a traditional bench stone, it's not as easy to use on larger items. Now, of course, this is a small axe or hatchet. Um, this is a Granford's Bruck hatchet, which I absolutely love. This gets the most use of all my hatchets. So that's why I grabbed it out today, because it can use a little bit of a sharpening. And I'm gonna do it properly off camera here, but I wanna give you just a, a quick demo on camera. So the uh, two puck stones that I have right now are from Ned Foss. You see a little logo on there. This is a, a company that has some, some cheaper knives. They have some Damascus knives as well. I got these uh, pucks years ago uh, from them, uh, and they work totally fine, but you can get any brand. I mean, there's cheaper ones, more expensive ones, just like any kind of stone. Sometimes the more expensive ones has literally a better quality, um, but more times than not, it's the same thing, especially when you're talking about some of the uh, uh, coarser grits. But they had two of them. This one was more around like $25 or $30 because of a nice leather sheath. And then they had the same, literally the same stones, but in a nylon version for like 15 bucks or something. I forget the exact amounts, but it's in and around there. Uh, just depends on what you want. If you want the cool leather one to keep on your belt when you, you know, have your big lumberjack axe, you know, over your shoulder and you're chopping wood and you want a quick touch up while you're doing it, that's a cool way to do it, I suppose. But if you don't really care and you just want the cheaper version, nothing wrong with the nylon, I guess. It doesn't just doesn't look as uh, woodsman, I suppose. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. But these are two different ones because they're actually two different pucks in here, two different stones. So these do come with the uh, little cloth here, which I do keep with the stones. Uh, and that's basically just to wipe off your blade when you're done. But we have two ones here, two different models. I'll pop these out. All right, see this one's blue and white, and this one is red and white. You will see a variety of different colors. Oftentimes, these will represent the grits. Now, the blue on here is a 240 grit, and the white side is 400 grit. Not to confuse anyone, but the white side on this one is not 400 grit. This is actually 600, and the red, or brownish color, is 180 grit. So it kind of seems a little weird because... Um, the red is 180 grit and the blue is 240, so this is a finer stone. You would think that the white side would be finer, but it's not. This is 400, whereas this is 600, all right? And you can, you know, obviously feel that as well. So, uh, you know, if you don't know, the lower the number, the coarser it is, the faster it takes off material like metal, or faster it sharpens, and then the higher the number, the finer it is, and the slower it takes off uh, material. So when you're sharpening things, you generally go from depending on how sharp it is to begin with, a low grit all the way up to a higher grit to basically finely, you know, sharpen and then polish that edge. So when, you know, any type of knife, doesn't matter if you're talking about knife, axe, whatever, you have an edge, all it is is a thin piece of metal. You want to make it as thin as possible, that therefore as sharp as possible, right? Simple. So um, my Granford's Bruck here is moderate. It needs a little bit of a sharpening, but I'm not going to go with the uh, 240. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to go with one of the white ones. Do I want 400 or 600? I'm going to go... I'm going to go 400. All right, because it's not super, super sharp. So, there's two ways of going about this. All right, I'll show you both ways, and I'll tell you what I prefer and why. You hold the puck, and again, that's why it's round, so you can hold it nicely in your hand. You want to make sure your fingers are tucked behind this little, little shoulder here. All right, for the obvious reasons, if you have your fingers hanging out, and you're sharpening, you can cut your fingers, so you don't want to do that. You want to tuck them in a little bit. Hold it firm in your off hand, whatever hand you feel is more controllable. Hold your little hatchet or axe um, and sharpen it on the stone. You just want to go in circles. Some people will just start at the heel and do one swipe, just, you know, kind of like a regular knife. 
More times than not, circles are fine. If you would do big circles, you can do tight little circles. Doesn't really matter. The other method, which I actually prefer, is to hold this steady, okay, with one hand, my off hand, and with my more controllable hand, I happen to be righty, I'll hold the puck like this, and I'll just, I'll keep this stationary. The blade stationary and the puck is what's actually moving. I feel like I have a little bit more control this way, and obviously this is a small hatchet, so holding the hatchet, it's not a big deal, but when you have a big old ax that's heavy, not only is it fatiguing, but you get sloppy moving the actual sharp thing. Now, a lot of times guys will put this into a vise, which is a great idea. If you really lock this into a vise, it's not gonna move at all, then you have full control to come in and do your sharpening, okay? Very simple, and again, you can do single passes, you can do the circle thing, whatever you do, it's fine. Start on one side, flip it over, do the other side, take the burr off, just like you're sharpening a knife, anything like that. But that's what these are for. These are puck sharpening stones. They've been around forever. Your dad saw them, your grandfather saw them, your great grandpappy saw them, uh, and they work very well. But you don't see them as often for pocket knives, and they work totally fine for pocket knives. In fact, I have a knife off to the side here. Let me grab it. We have the cold steel Luzon, or Luzon. Um, you can use this for your uh, blades as well in the same fashion, okay? Even though these are more beneficial for your axes and hatches and stuff, you could still use the flat end here uh, for all your blades. So it's not a problem, you know, it's just a flat stone is better suited for, you know, your folding knives and stuff like that, fixed blades, whereas this is better suited because most times when you have a, a pocket knife or something, or even a fixed blade, the stone is stationary and you're moving your knife, as opposed to when you have a large, heavy thing like this, it's not easy to move. So the idea is that you don't move this, you move the stone. If you used a, a let's say I had a flat bench stone or something, you will never see anyone take like a, a rectangular bench stone, hold their knife steady and then move the stone back and forth. People just don't do it. The stone's stationary and you're using the knife. So that's all. Hopefully that made uh, some sense um, to the person who asked or anyone in general, if you've ever seen these things, that's what they are. They're puck stones and they're generally used for sharpening different types of tools outside of knives. So you can use these for anything with an edge, you know, that, as long as it fits. There's a large flat side. They're almost always double sided, although sometimes I've seen some gray ones that aren't two different grits. They're the same grit and then you can use whatever side and just as it wears, you can use the other side. So there you go, just wanted to help out the person who asked as well as anyone who's ever seen these and didn't really know why they were shaped that way. Most people who find these, you'll find them in tackle boxes, you'll find them along with tools, usually, but if you didn't know why it was round, that's why it's round. Literally so you can hold it in your hand and work your way around the tool as opposed to keeping that stationary and working your tool around the stone. But you can use these for anything. Anything with edge, you can use this style. Uh, you can sharpen a hatchet on a regular bench stone, it's just not as easy. That's why they make these things. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And like I said, depending on the brand, uh, the quality can change a little bit, but I wouldn't worry about it too much, especially if you're sharpening an ax or something, you don't have to get a very expensive stone. You know, the cheaper ones work fine as well. Just make sure you're using the appropriate grits. And if you are, you know, starting from a very dull knife, make sure you go with a very coarse grit first and work your way up to the higher numbers, which is gonna give you a finer edge. And especially on um, hatchets and axes, a lot of people don't, well I shouldn't say a lot, but some people don't uh, strop them, you should. Treat them like any other blade. The sharper this is, the easier it's going to split wood and uh, do woodworking stuff for you, and that means the safer it will be. All right, so even though I can get a pretty decent edge on a 600 grit stone, uh, I'm still going to go back and I'm going to strop this. All right, so anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.